Good evening, everyone. Police are describing it as a brazen string of extortions orchestrated overseas and carried out by alleged criminals here in Canada. Edmonton police say a malicious mastermind based in India has been directing locals in the city where there have been 27 events since October. Five extortions, 15 arsons and seven firearm offenses. The targets, South Asian home builders who are having their projects torched with millions in damage if they don't pay. So far, six people have been charged. Of those, one has fled the country and one is in police custody. CTV's Heather Wright on the investigation and similar incidents in other provinces. A car slows down as it approaches an Edmonton home. It stops and someone inside opens fire. Police say a family, including children, were inside when this happened last week, but no one was injured. Police say this is just the latest incident of extortion targeting the South Asian community. Crimes that often include arson and usually begin with a text message. There's a request that comes along with that uh, for um, some uh, compensation to, uh, to allow those victims to remain um, safe. Edmonton is not the only city grappling with these crimes. Similar incidents have been reported in Brampton, Ontario and British Columbia. While it's not clear if the same criminals are involved across the country, there are many similarities in how the crimes are carried out. All of the points of information used in the threats can be found on open source on the internet. Um, and the demands are often for currency that are Canadian based or Indian rupees. Police believe the criminal network is being orchestrated by at least one person in India. The extortion demands are often for significant amounts of money, with the targets typically high-profile members of the South Asian community, business owners and home builders. It's time to take this uh, seriously and it's time to take it in a way that is coordinated. Surrey Mayor Brenda Locke and Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown recently wrote the federal government, asking it to take the lead on this investigation. In a social media post today, Vancouver MP and Emergency Preparedness Minister Harjit Sajjan tweeted, We are actively dealing with extortion attempts targeting South Asian Canadians. We will use all tools to protect Canadians who have been targeted by organized crime, regardless of where it originates. Police acknowledge some have been unwilling to come forward, many terrified and fearing for their safety. They encourage anyone who has received a threatening text or phone call to get in touch and not to hand over any money. Omar. All right, Heather, thank you.